Hey everyone, I'm here with Alyssa from Norton Candle Supply, and I'm in a, where are we at? Near Pittsburgh. We're just north of Pittsburgh. Yeah. So um, part of this trip, I uh, decided to stop here and do a bit of a collaboration and show and tell. Got to see some of their production, took some video, some footage, show you a little bit of what they're doing. And it's, it's a really cool operation down there. Yeah, so this is the wick centering tool with a double cotton wick configuration. And this comes in two pieces right here. You would put your wicks uh, through these stick parts, put it through, stick it on your candle, and press it down in, and then you're done. That's it. And the wick holders, again, for the double wick, there are two notches in there. This is what went through all of those many prototypes. And that'll hold your wicks in place very securely. I did a really silly video where I put a bunch of these on jars, shook them around, to show that the wicks are not gonna fall out. As many of you know, if you're familiar with their company, they do a lot of customization. Um, they have 600 jars specced out by now um, in order to make the wick tools, both the wick setters and the wick clips. Um, they do different colors, personalization, uh, different even custom jars designs, right? So uh, they do a lot, of, a lot of things. So we're gonna talk about a little bit about that today, how they got started, what they've done to grow and scale to this point. And then Alyssa is also going to address some common, frequently asked questions about their products and everything. So that being said, Alyssa, if you want to introduce yourself a little bit more, give a little background maybe. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Alyssa Leisure. I am the owner, founder, CEO, whatever you want to call me, of Norton Candle Supply. One of my favorite parts about doing what I do is that a lot of our customers, as well as candle makers, obviously, you're also small business owners. And that's been really cool to get to work with everybody. So I started myself as a candle maker probably about three years ago now. And I found a hole in the market and I just wasn't happy with any of the wick holders. We were talking about this earlier that nothing was just sort of, it just kind of works. It's all right. Uh, so yeah, I started designing these up and my brother-in-law had a 3d printer shout out josh <laughs> he uh so he started printing them for us i started using them myself as a candle maker at some point about two years ago i thought hey other people might like these so i was still uh still had my little candle business going uh you know i kind of started talking about it in the candle groups to see mm -hmm. if gauge if there was any interest uh, there, there was <laughs> quite a bit, yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. I had no idea it was going to turn into yeah. what it did. You mentioned the gap in the market. So we were, again, we were talking about this a little bit before we started this video, but uh, I've been using tools like this for a dozen years, 12 to 15 years. And you're right. Every, there's a lot of options out there, but they're usually stock options that are meant to fit either various jars, but none of them fit perfectly, or there's just there's not a whole lot of options. You got yeah. this color and these sizes and these configurations and that's that was kind of it. There's not a whole lot of, unless you were a very large brand that could go somewhere and have 20,000 of them custom made for you yeah. somewhere, that just doesn't work for small businesses that are trying to make quality products and center the wicks properly and everything. Yeah. And then over the last, I don't know, 10 years, you started to see a little bit more of them with 3D printers coming on the market and all that, but there still was not anyone doing quite what you guys are doing, which is the level of customization, the level of the, the color options. I mean, I've talked about them in several videos and showed all the different ones. <laughs> that that like that intrigues people because yeah. they can match it to their brand or they can separate their jars and, and it, just by color. And so the colors alone are really cool. And then you can do personalization of their brand name or whatever they want on the wick clips. So yeah, 100% agree. Um, I've been using them since I met you and ordered the first ones. It's grown quite a bit since then. And let's maybe talk a little bit about that because I know a ton of people here on this channel mm -hmm. and elsewhere use them. And um, obviously I've been using them, showing them on the channel now for several months as well. And so I know a lot of people would find it interesting, but they have a, oh, I don't know. Would, between all your spaces, there's somewhere probably around uh, 800 to 1,000 square foot if you took all of it, combined yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And it's basically lined with all their equipment. And uh, they can 
they've got 40 machines or so of orders going all the time, 24 seven, these machines are running. 24 <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna let her- My sleep schedule will prove it. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty neat. Like I had an idea of what you did, um, obviously, but even when I walked in the door, I was pretty shocked. I mean, it's, it's quite an operation for even just a small area. It's, yeah. it's really neat. And I'll, I'll let her talk more about the operations, but I wanna kind of start with how it started. Um, I, mean, I know why you got into it, mm -hmm. but how you actually started. I assume you started with one machine and then as you started scaling, it kind of went more and more, but maybe yeah. walk through what your growth has been like. And Yeah, had no intent of turning this into a business. Uh, my husband had bought a 3D printer for himself for a totally different purpose. So we started with one 3D printer and I thought, well, I, I don't have to have my brother-in-law make these for me now. Uh, so then we, yeah, once I started reaching out to the Facebook groups and seeing if anyone else was interested in them, uh, we bought another printer. I think we had two or three printers for at least a few months yeah. and we're just kind of there and we were really happy with what we were doing. I thought this is great. Um, <laughs> and it just started kind of quickly. It, it just, it kind of, yeah. kind of really took off at some point and we made the realization um, probably a year to a year and a half ago that this, this could really be something. So we really started focusing on branding. I got some professional photos of the products done. Uh, photography is not my strong suit. <laughs> And yeah, we took off from there. We now have 40 3D printers, uh, mostly all running, except when they need maintenance. Yeah. And yeah, we have uh, quite a process going. We have a little little factory in our basement. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it is, a little yeah. factory. Yeah. yeah, we do run this out of our house, which I know a lot of you can relate to as well. Yeah. You run your candle businesses out of your home. It's very organized. It's very efficient. Um, it's like, that's the best way to describe it is a small factory. So how many, um, colors do you guys now offer? We have 16 colors. Everyone loves the colors. I love it when a customer says, Oh, I'm so glad you have this color. It fits my brand yeah. perfectly. And I would be in the same boat if I was ordering tools like that for my business and they had, you know, colors that match your brand yeah. because you put so much time into your brand. Especially if you're doing behind the scenes footage of your brand for your Instagram accounts and pay, yeah. you want you want that stuff to match. I was torn on when I was ordering stuff. <laughs> like, do I want this by brand? Uh, I actually started basically doing them by jar type. So I've got different yeah. colors for different jars, but I like the brand idea a lot. Um, especially if your brand has a couple complementary colors too that you yeah. use, you can mix and match them. But yeah, so it's 16 different colors. 600 jars mm -hmm. and if anyone that hasn't uh, used their products before if you go to their website it's set up in a way that you can figure out what you need like you can do it yourself and then of course if you need any customer or you have questions you can always reach out to the support but uh, you basically choose your you know where you buy your jars and then you pick your jar so you don't have to guess what's going to fit like the website does it for you it, it guides you along the way and so you pick your jar you pick your color you pick your wick configuration, whether it's one wick, two wick, three wick. So um, I don't know if I took any footage here today, but I'll overlay some other videos, footage in the past showing their different wick tools, single, double, triple wicks. A lot of, they can do pretty much anything because they customize it all if needed. Um, and then out of those jar configurations, they have 600 ones that are already specced and programmed. I'm probably using the wrong terminology there, but <laughs> Um, they've already done the design for yeah. 600 different jars, which is 590 more than any other company does. Because <laughs> honestly, most of the time you're, you're basically choosing a jar uh, size and then there's clips out there that fit different ranges, but they never fit right. Yeah. That's, that was always a struggle for me. There was always too much wiggle. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't fit right. It was just whether it was the setter or the clip, you just never had a perfectly centered wicks all the time or it was slow. Uh, yours are very quick to ease, quick to use. They're easy to use. I think the very first video I ever did, I blindfolded myself just to yes. show how easy it is. And it, it took like five seconds and I couldn't see anything. I mean, it's very, they're, they're great. And they do a really, really good job. The design of them, um, I'm not a d design expert, but they, they do a really good job of, of holding it snug and yeah. without extra work, like hooks and things to that keep them in place. That was probably 
the hardest yeah, design that we did that went through many prototypes. I, I, bet, it I bet it did. I was <laughs> pretty su shocked. Such a little nuance that nuances involved in that yeah. that we were, you know, down to the hundredth of an inch with different things, changing up the design. Yeah. That was. I think a lot of customers or people that come to your site for the first time probably don't realize that you've only been in business for basically two years, which yeah. is incredible. And because of how fast it's grown, of course, when when you start any business, there's all a ton of challenges early on. But then when you grow that quickly, you got scaling challenges. There's just so much that goes into it. And when you see the behind, like what what's actually going on, it's uh, it's pretty incredible. Like you're running these machines, as she said, 24/7 all the time, 40 different batches going. Hey, <laughs> cute big girl. Um, yeah, so 24 seven, these things are running and, and, yeah. and batching out new products all the time. So you're just constantly busy. Have one helper that comes a couple of days a week and that just started a few weeks ago. But otherwise it's me, my husband, when he feels like helping out <laughs> and my three and my five year old that are with me, <laughs> yeah. I'm with me all day. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's another thing I wanted to mention. So they've got a good team here. Uh, Alyssa had, she was a candle maker, so she knows what other candle makers are looking for yeah. and what's efficient, what's quick, what's accurate. She knew what we all needed. And then her husband also being an engineer is very design oriented. So he knows those nuances and how to do things like that as well. So the, the two of them really have created a really, really great project Thank you. Or, I mean, product. And uh, they're always working on improvements. So we were just talking down there, we've got 40 machines down there already and they, they're adding more as they need more. And when they add more space, they add more. Uh, and but not just the same things. Um, you showed a couple different units. Uh, there's ones that can do different sizes, different amounts, different volume, different speeds. So uh, they just always trying to improve the process and products as you go. And um, yeah, it's I've been so happy with them. Everyone that I've ever talked to has liked the products. I, I don't. I honestly don't know that I've ever heard anyone. I've had questions, which yeah. we'll talk about that. So. There's always questions about products that someone doesn't uh, know necessarily what they need or what they're looking for or how things work, especially if you're brand new to the industry. But it's always positive feedback because they're yeah. excellent products. Yeah, we've uh, just been honored, honestly. Of course, you know, this this was our baby. We designed this and uh, so it means a lot whenever we get positive feedback. I know I tell you guys all the time, you know, that we love seeing the reviews yeah. and I'm um, just, we're so happy with that. It was always so, I tell people I'm so honored that Wade thinks <laughs> so highly of the products. That's awesome. And I, I guess occasionally if we do get a negative comment, uh, the customer usually reaches out to us, which is great. And we always work with them until we get them a product that they're happy with. So if you guys ever are unhappy with something, if the fit's not quite right on the jar, absolutely reach out because that's one of the cool things about what we do here. We're not this massive company that's just pumping out thousands of yeah. the same thing. You know, we we can make changes. Other improvements you've made recently was the longer stick part uh, yes. for the, uh, the wick setter, which adds some more stability during the wick setting process. Um, maybe if you want to explain what that is in case I'm confusing anyone. One of the improvements we've made was to uh, make this part here on the wick centering tool longer so that there's less wiggle room with the stick. I want to take an extra second just to talk about that because I referred to it earlier, but the, the design, looking at it, you wouldn't know how much more iterations went into that, but it holds the wicks so much better than other ones I'd used in the past. I mean, it's it's not even close. So it's uh, it's the design and and the engineering behind it, which it's really hard to see unless you're looking at it up close physically. Yeah. But if you guys have bought them before, you'll understand. But they slide in and they stay really nice and snug. Many others, uh, it they'll tend to just kind of come out pretty frequently, or they require like kind of a loop and hook type design, which is fine. But it's, it takes longer. And when you yeah. start doing 100 candles or something, that you notice that time difference. What would be your guys's next steps Expand internationally and some uk suppliers as well we do have a few new products in the works so i'm sure wade will be one of the first people to get his hands on those and so 
Yeah, and I, and I don't know what talk they, to you guys yeah, about. I this. don't know what they are either yet. So <laughs> not playing coy. Some common questions you guys get all the time. Is there anything else that you that I just haven't thought about asking or that would be good to talk about? One of the more common questions we get asked is, do we do custom jars? My jar, I don't see my jar on your website. Uh, so either way, you can send us a jar. Um, if it's totally custom, like you get your jars from Alibaba, or we've even had customers where they use jars that were custom made for them. Absolutely. Um, you just need to send one in. You know, we have our measuring equipment, we need to test fit, and then we can custom fit them. We do leave a little bit of tolerance. Jar, jar manufacturing is surprisingly uh, not as perfect as you would think. Yeah. Uh, so we do have to leave a little bit of tolerance and Sometimes it's uh, more than others. I can think of a couple jars in particular. I won't call anybody out uh, from a supplier that their little variants their there. jars are a little more wonky, <laughs> so to say. That we did have to add a little bit more tolerance than yeah. we would like to those jars. Someone wants a larger bulk order. You guys handle that, and if so, how? Yes. Yeah, so usually um, they would reach out to us. We do have to offer discounts on bulk orders. The XL wick centering kit, if you need 60 of these holders, is the most cost efficient option until you get, you know, up to a couple hundred. But if you're looking for more than that, please reach out and we do have volume discounts at that point. As far as personalization, so I don't know if the camera can see it, but I've, I've showed them before. You can personalize the engraving. There we go. So you can personalize some kind of gravy on the side. What is a... How, how much can you do? Is there a character limit or is it basically just what are the circumferences? Yeah, it depends on the diameter of the yeah. jar. Um, I have not had a problem yet and that's why I don't have a character limit on the website. There yeah. hasn't been one. I haven't been able to fit on there. It would be an awfully long message. Yes. <laughs> Guess we've probably covered most most things that we want to talk about here, show the products a little bit. One of the things we talked about is how relatable this was to other candle makers because it's a very similar type process. People usually start small, they'll start in a, in a room or a basement at home. They continue to scale their business and scaling uh, me means progress, but it also can mean challenges and you just got to kind of roll with the punches. And uh, it's, it's really cool to see a, a business grow from the ground up and then the kind of support it gets from the community, the industry that it's in, because we all like to support each other in various yeah. ways, which is really, really nice. And so we thought this would be fun to do so you guys can see, put a name to the face if you didn't already know who she was, but also just to understand the process a little bit more and what kind of goes in behind it, because that's that's always interesting to me. So hopefully it is to other people as well. Um, if Can you remind, to so make sure I don't say it incorrectly, what the website address is? I'll the put it on the description too. Norden, N-O-R-D-E-N, candlesupply.com. Okay. And then if they, there's a contact form on there if they have any questions. Yes, contact well. form, or my email address is alyssa at nordencandlesupply.com. I have that everywhere. So if you guys ever have any questions, please reach out. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Okay. But as we talked about, it is uh, mostly me here handling everything. So. Yep, and then the Facebook groups and other communities she's active in. And there's yes. a, now there's a ton of candle makers in the industry that are using their products. So other people can chime in and help too. And yeah. we, you, you'll see that a lot in groups. If you guys have any questions, you can put it in the comment section. Um, I'll obviously be responding to comments and Alyssa know this, knows this video is gonna be there. I'll so be she, she there. can see the comments <laughs> as well. And just some general feedback would be really nice as well because there's a lot of people that aren't familiar with them, haven't used the products yet. So if you are one of the ones that have, uh, I would love for you to add your own feedback. Put a tiny little review down in the comments of this of this video. That would be really helpful to Alyssa and her business, but also to everyone else uh, that you might potentially use their products. Thank you for having me out here. Thank this was you. nice. Yeah, so, I'm glad you could stop in. Yeah. Don't forget, there are working some new products that are coming at some point later down the road. If you don't wanna miss that, be sure to subscribe to this channel, but also go to their website um, and uh, keep an eye out for all of it. And then we'll definitely talk about it whenever those come out.